Hello. Is my volume good? It looks like it should be good. Okay, that's good. I hadn't messed with it, but I did accidentally unplug my microphone. I don't normally do that. Well, okay, yeah, I know why I did it. I needed, uh, I needed to plug in a headset. Anyway, that's not important. What is important is uh, we're going to do the timeline in the Dreamers uh, more. Uh, right after I finish running this part of uh, Wrathful Otherlands, because uh, I was supposed to do it last night, so I started it, and I fell asleep. Oh, oh shoot. One of those. Uh, hello, Grimthorpe101. This is not part of the timeline in the Dreamers. This is Wrathful Otherlands. And if we don't another force that thing, it will run away because it's a rare thing that we need to drop from, which is very annoying. Anyway, I started this last night, and I was supposed to finish it last night, and instead I fell asleep, so I gotta finish it now. I mean, technically I could just leave, but that would be a waste of tickets. Let's also, I love these out. crystals back here, so lovely. Okay, I messed up everyone's attacks by having to use another force, but uh, we pretty much just always do that anyway, so it's fine. Everyone else here is just here to fight bosses, or uh, the people in the back row, they're here to level up. They do not do anything. It's the, it's the ideal team, you know? You want you want your four, four front team people to be able to do everything, so that you can just level extra people in the back line. In fact, the more, the more people- the fewer people you need, the more other people can just level. The problem is, if they're in the front line, you need to be able to kill the enemies before they can hit your poor weak people in the front line and kill them. Uh, because they don't really level up so well if they're dead. There's uh, three three bosses, I think, on this level, and a uh, horror, and we're gonna try and kill all of them. Uh, I know it can be done. I've done it a couple times. It's just uh, it's a bit of a challenge. We also want to kill all the enemies on every map. Uh, we're farming resources so we can upgrade Tiramis's uh, bracelet thing to give her more spirit. I think it gives her plus... I say plus 10 spirit at the highest level, but that would seem kind of garbage for the fact that it takes like a week and a half to level if you. I mean, I could have had it maxed out by now if I was good. But I have not been good. I have been bad. I need some water. I just ate a Taco Bell burrito, and I feel like the bean skins are haunting me. Hi, class girl. Th this, uh, you can't get treatises. Here, and I don't think you can get chant scripts except in the very last one. Uh, but you get a lot of scroll uh, experience scrolls, which uh, can be helpful when you have so many characters that aren't maxed out. Not so helpful later on when you have very few characters that need leveling. Yes, that was awesome. Oh gosh, Victor, why must you sound like this? Crystals. Okay, now we'll fight the big dino. Sexy bee waifus. Oh dear. Uh, let's see. Power down. Good. That's what we want. Get a baby guardian. Oh, oh shoot. That's not good. Shift cat hook. Front line. Lightning speed. Twin dragons. Please, please, please do not use that ability again. This is the most dangerous enemy here for me because he's a horror, so he's a pretty high level. Do I hear a vacuum? Uh, I should not worry about whether. Oh no, wait, I think it's my cat growling. She might need in my room. She's a very needy girl. Yeah, okay, I gotta let my cat in. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm coming, kitty. I'm coming. Kitty. She's been very fussy because my other kitty just constantly wants to play with her. And she does not want to play. It's, uh... It's not good. But it is what it is, I guess. Okay, I seem to get stuck. Okay. It's 
been so chilly lately, my nose is a little runny. I was not expecting it to get so cold all of a sudden. Yeah, we got this under control. I was a little worried there when Helena got wiped out, but... I mean, she is a, uh... She's still a three-star, I think? No, she can't be a three-star. She's gotta be a four-star, because otherwise, uh, she wouldn't be able to be above level 50. Maui! Maui, you wanna come over here with me? Where is she? Maui! Come here, come here. Come here, kitty. Show your beautiful face to, to the people on the stream. It's so nice how the weather is cooling down. Yes, it's great. It's, it makes it nice to go do outside things. Come here, Maui. Let's see if, let's see if she'll show her pretty face. You want to show your pretty face? No, she wants to do her own thing. Okay, Maui. Please don't sit on my earbuds like that. It makes it hard to hear. It's getting to be hiking weather. And walking weather. And being outside without wanting to die in general weather. At least that's how I feel about it. Yee. Yee. Oh no, go to the back line. Actually, we will heal you up. Mm, I think the problem is I don't think we actually want to use... It's been a bit since I ran this. I think we don't really want to use Tiramis on the bosses. But the problem is there's at least two of them we have to. Healing everyone up. I can just barely see her tiny kitty face. Momo, you're such a cute kitty. No, I don't want to fight that one yet. We need Tiramis for that one, so I want to uh, fully explore this area, make sure we've killed all the enemies in it before eating food to replenish her mana. Yeah, she's got. One, yeah, one more, one more, uh, they were simply dragon summoners, uh, whatever level this is, I forget the name. I think prayer is the highest level. Okay, that's the way to the next level, and this is also the way to the next level. She's got one more, I guess we may as well run over here and fight one more. I can't remember which enemies I need... Uh, drops from to upgrade her thing, so I just kill all of them every time. Wish to die, oh shoot! Oh, oh, thank goodness! I thought we didn't have the another force back. It's it can be really bad if you encounter these guys back to back and you are relying on another force. There are characters with preemptive attacks if they're strong enough can deal with them. Uh, we do actually have uh, what's her name? Felmina. Felmina AS is the one I use on mobile to deal with that, but unfortunately uh, her preemptive wind stun attack is locked behind a quest that we have not done, so she cannot use it currently. But uh, once once she can, that'll be handy, although we probably won't be running this anymore by then. Because really the only reason to run this is to get uh, Tiramis's, get Tiramis's uh, gear upgraded. Okay. I think this is the raptor pack, and I know we need Tiramis to deal with it. Yeah, because she does AOE. So uh, you just go to the back back line, Helena. I don't want you dying. You don't gain XP if you're dead. Which is a pity, but I guess it makes sense. It's hard to learn from an experience that you were dead during. kill all of them at once so they don't get angry but I think it's gonna be fine uh, because I think we're gonna kill these guys before they get to do anything they get they get uh, stronger when they get angry but as long as you kill them all off before they do anything it's fine they don't get to murder your people Maui why you refuse to be on the stream why People should get to see your beautiful face, my kitty. 
We could leave through there, but we're not going to because we've got two more bosses to kill. We gotta kill Lord Ukulele and the Hungry T-Rex. Uh, we'll do Ukulele first, I guess, since I'm heading this way. Basu Mountain, Scarlet Trail. Let me grab these Murmur Scripts. I think we've got, finally, an acceptable number of Murmur and Prayer Scripts. I was having a hard time at first upgrading my <laughs> three stars because I didn't have enough Murmur Scripts. And I was like, oh yeah! That was an issue in the old, old early days. It's, it's not an issue anymore. Eventually you get to the point where you have over 999 of each. I don't know how many I have of them because it, it doesn't count past 999. Lord Ukulele. Wahaha, you come to steal my tipple again? By Pe Pele's hair, you have some nerve. But I already came up with a contingency plan for just such a situation. Time for ukulele roulette. You can't steal my punch if I drink it all. I'm a genius. Now, where should I start? Yeah, no time to lose. I'll just grab whatever comes to hand. Lord ukulele chugs some mirth punch. That's the one we stole from him. Mm. Should be fine. Okay, now back line for Helena because she's not going to be dealing any damage here. I don't know what they are though, so I guess I will just uh, not worry about it. Oh dear, he's going to melt Victor. Don't melt Victor. Victor is going to be part of my plan to kill you. We haven't capped out the damage on true twin dragons yet either. Mwah. I tire of this senseless violence. Consider yourselves lucky. Ahui hu. I'm not sure if that's actually what he said. Like how to pronounce it. We leave through that, but uh, we've got one more to kill, so. Not yet. <clears throat> Water. Your stars show a sad if you stop. Uh, nope. Nope. You guys don't get to do anything. Let Tiramis handle the mobs. I mean, they can do their regular attack. Ter uh, not Termis. Uh, Nokoko actually hits pretty hard. And I don't think she even has a good weapon. I, I really need to get these people some better gear. They're using pretty much just whatever uh, I gave them quite a while back. Which is rather cruel of me. Did you but, uh, see my they cope. Moves. Gonna rub your... Uh, okay. Seems dece. Kitty, why are you rubbing your face on the keyboard? You might make the game do things. It can be controlled with the keyboard. She's a little dumb and causes a lot of trouble, <laughs> but I love her immensely. And therefore, she is a good kitty. Okay. Helena, I don't think you're gonna be any use against this giant T Rex. I say giant T Rex, the other one we fought was like way bigger. So, this is quite manageable in comparison. It doesn't have that horrible AoE fire attack, I don't think. I don't remember what it's called, but it's, uh, it's quite a pain. Summoned a flower for some reason. I really don't understand why. It also doesn't matter, because we will still kill it. I hate that the screen flashes when you beat bosses. It, it bothers me. I guess to be more accurate, it bothers my eyes. Maui, you're sitting on my earbuds, which makes it kind of awkward. And then we ripped out the dinosaur's belly. Okay, now we can leave after I make sure there's no chest. Yeah, 
I was gonna say, there's probably chests around here. A high class scroll, that's nice. And that should be it for this area. Yep, that's it. Okay, and that is Rattle, or Otherlands Rattle region, area two on hard. You can also do very hard, but we're not doing very hard. Uh, mostly because we, it would be really hard. And also we don't have anything we need there. We need some food. Okay, grab some promised fruit. Time to swap back to our foraging party. Other lanes rattle. A level. Celestial tower. Purple. I really need to make more use of the purple team. IDA2. A party 8, which has no one in it except Tiramis. Ocean palace. Miners. Ah, there we go, foragers. Excellent. Oh, wait, actually. Um, yeah, there was a notice. Another Eden is getting an update tomorrow. There will be a new banner. Uh, like uh, Pikachu Hats was saying yesterday, there's going to be a bunch of buffs to fishing. It's going to be great. It's going to be very exciting. And then I think the one after that is uh, Ocean Palace 2 Part 1. Which I don't think we'll be able to play because I'm pretty sure we got to play the whole Western Continent mythos to do that. Not positive though. I could be wrong. Let's see. Moonlight Forest. Red Glance Castle. Oh wait, I'm looking in the wrong place. There's the mining village. I don't know why it calls it mining village and not Horai. Like it has a name. Okay, we got to go back to the mysterious lady in the woods. So we can recruit her to be a villager. The cat has left me. I experience deep sadness. I press F. Oh, it works. I press F. I'm gonna gather all this. Because we're gonna need a whole lot of these resources. Like so many. I've never finished completely clearing out the mines because I got lazy and didn't want to collect all the resources. Me I, get a little rough. I mean, I did complete, like, the building stuff and everything, but... Let's keep it up. But there's more beyond that. I should do it, though. Because I am a completionist. I have problems. I like to complete things and I like to collect things. This is why I should not play gacha games. Or at any rate, I should just limit myself to another Eden. Hello, lady. The wanderer without a home. Aldo meets a woman in the forest. For whatever reason, she doesn't seem to want to talk about herself. Well, let us speak to her and learn about how she doesn't want to talk about herself. Well now, who are you? And what are you doing here, hmm? Me? Oh, well, there's this mining village nearby that this one guy's trying to rebuild and he asked me if I could lend a hand, so I... Wait, why am I the one explaining myself? What are you doing all the way out here, ma'am? What am I doing here? I'm having myself my daily promenade. That's what? Promenade, that's probably what would be better. In a monster-filled danger zone like this. It isn't safe here, ma'am. If you live nearby, I could make sure you get home safe. The name ain't ma'am, it's Rebecca. And to tell the truth, I have no home to go back to anymore. Why? What happened? You said something about a plan to breathe life back into a ghost town. Tell me, how's that going for you? It's still in the early stages of development, but... Then I'll be a perfect addition to the team. I worked a furnace shop in another life. I'm sure someone handy with a kiln would be useful to you. R right. Well then, let's be off. It was that away, right? H hey, slow down there. It'd be great to have you on board, but first I gotta ask Terry to build you somewhere to live. Rebecca became a villager. We're collecting quite an odd bunch, but I guess only odd people would be like, Ah oh, yes, abandoned mining, ta mining town? I'm gonna live there. Luckily, we were just collecting, uh, collecting some wood. I wish Zilva and this guy, Crervo, would get five-star versions. 
That would be cool. And actually, I, w I, do, I also wish all the characters who only have a 4-star and then another style would get a 5-star version. I mean, the 5-star version of their original class would probably be kind of terrible. But I just want it for completion's sake. Alright, what do you want me to build? Let's find out, Terry. Okay, we need the furnace. Okay, we're gonna need some stone. Okay, wall plate times three. Shoot. Okay. How many floor tiles? Three. And... Okay. Okay, okay. We gotta go collect some stone, which means I gotta change to the miner team. It's kind of like, um... Auction, auction house. You need two teams for auction house. You need, like, the... I forget if it's like art and zoology and then cooking and weapons, something like that. I did not like Auction House though. I, I like this better. I like Time Mine and Dreamers a lot. It can be slow and actually completely finishing the mine is uh, a massive pain that I have never done. But it's, uh, it's different and I like it. I like that about it. It's got a charm to it. We're under attack. Suppressing enemy. Alshi? Alshi? Okay, we're already on the right uh, right setup, so all we gotta do is press A and murder everyone. Yes, Samora, level up. Use the torch to light the lantern. There we go, now we can pass through this way. You below dust bunnies. You know, when you leave a mine alone for too long, it gets inhabited with evil dust bunnies, apparently. We need a. I know we need like a. Okay, I know we need an explosive for that one. Alrighty. I think we get a lot of our. Um, I think maybe we get. Uh, coal off of those guys. Do we? Victory achieved. No, clay. Okay. Clay and quartz sand. Understandable. Indeed. Very understandable. Collect. It will all be mine. If we had Melina, we could get so much more, but we just have to do without. No Melina for us. Melina was actually the very first character, um... I don't, I don't know if I did every single paid uh, thing where you get, a, get to pick a 5 star. Because I know Melina was the first one I did, so there might have been one before that. But yeah. It was a very long time before I ever pulled a Melina. I did eventually pull uh, Melina AS. Actually, I don't think I've ever pulled 5 star regular Melina. So I guess I wouldn't have it if I hadn't. Uh... Okay, we don't have explosives, so we can't do that. But yeah, we are missing a lot of characters here, but that's fine. Because we can pull on the next banner coming up. You're gonna go grab Brecky. Be back shortly. Mm, get a very good Brecky. I will be wandering this mine. Till thou returns. Okay. What are we gonna need? I should probably collect some of the things we need for this area of the mine. Open it up more. Like if we need any lanterns or uh, I feel like I'm leaning. I think these guys are the ones we get gunpowder off of. The ten Tengiri? Is that what they're called? Gunpowder. Yeah, we need to kill a whole lot of those for gunpowder. Okay, another ladder that needs to be worked. Okay, that's the hole we uh, found and used. Now we can use the rope to go down. To the next level of the mine. Ooh, copper. We also need more clay, so I guess killing these guys is good. Tenguri, that's what they're called. They look like they're about to explode. They worry me a little. Did you see my graceful moves? Uh, collect that. Good work. Good work, my little people. I want to focus on clearing up the first level. Okay, we'll need a we'll need a torch for that. I want to work on clearing up the first level of the mine before I go to the next level. I need to get a, I need to get a map of the get mine. That surrender. would make my life much easier. Technically there's three mines and this is just the first one. 
the smallest. Graceful moves. It's uh. I mean, I guess it was a mining town. Makes sense. If there was only one tiny mine in the mining town. It'd be uh, surprising that they managed to exist for so long before mysteriously being abandoned. Fresh ingredients. Attack. We can pretty much stay until she runs out of. Uh, Finally, when supper. Until she runs out of MP. But actually, we're not gonna stay that long because, as I said, I want to go get some ladders for the first floor. I think the ladders don't lead to a separate level. They just lead to like a different area of the same level. Honor the sacred power. What are the dark slugs for? Like, what do they drop? I guess I don't get to find out because that one didn't drop Finally. anything. Maybe they, oh, maybe they dropped the clay. I think the uh, Alshi dropped the quartz sand. No more. I wish No more would get a five star. I mean, he's a tank, and like, Garambel exists. Gar Garambarrel. So I don't know why he would need a five star, and I doubt it would be good. But I just want it for completion's sake care deeply about completion for no real reason. Probably have a problem, and that's why. Okay, back to level one. Yeah, we're gonna go back out to the entrance, and uh, what was this over here? What did we need here? Oh, that was an explosive. We don't have explosives, but we do need a couple ladders. So we should be able to make maybe at least a ladder or two. And we can see if we can make any of uh, the... Uh, the things we need for the Take furnace, that. so that Rebecca will have a thing to do. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. Let's see. Okay, that's the entrance. I think we maybe need like three ladders, which is kind of a pain because that requires a lot of uh, foraging materials that we don't have currently. Let's see. We should be able to work on her house though. And the sooner we can get our house under construction, the better, because then we gotta, we've gotta we got to do so many battles before it's done. Let's see, what do we want you to build, Terry? A stone furnace. Okay. Let's see. Floor tiles. No, 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 no. Times three? Yeah, there we go. Three floor tiles. Okay, we need more clay. Back into the mine. Need three more clay, and then we can build all the wall tiles needed for the furnace. Let's just go run around on this. Ow, I slightly bit my tongue. Go run around on this level, I guess. I was like thinking I thinking I wanted like a dessert or something. I was like, hmm, maybe I'll just have to eat some chocolate chips. But then I remembered I have cookies, so all is well. Okay, these guys drop quartz sand, I think. Yeah, they drop quartz sand. Okay, so that's not not something we particularly care about. Currently, I think we'll need it for the glass windows for uh, other people's houses. For now, okay, so quartz sand, gunpowder, and these guys must be clay. Take that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, one clay down, two to go. This is the one uh, side story, I guess, where you kind of need to farm resources instead of points. So you gotta hunt down certain enemies instead of running dungeons. The holy but they're all in the mine, so and the mine is basically done. So you just hang out in here and murder things. I serve a so that's not clay. Power. Wait, why is Popero in the back line? I love Popero. He should be in the front line, so everyone can see how cute he is. Front line, Popero. He has the same kind of weird walk that uh, Samora does, though. Kind of leans backwards when he runs. I think it's maybe because the, the small characters do that. But there's only like three small characters, I think. There's Popero, Samora, and Lovely. I don't think Lovely does that, but she has a big backpack, so it would look really weird if she did that. 
Am I leaning forward too much? A little bit. A little bit. Come on, Dark Slug. Drop me some clay. I need three clay. That's what I'm saying. Actually, I can probably... You can usually go to items. Materials. Okay, this is all the materials I've collected that I haven't sold, so clearly that's not... Let's see. Fishing goods. Coal mining items. That's probably where it is. Lumber, burnable resin, stone, clay. We've got seven clay. We need nine clay. So yep, two more clay. Two more clay, and we should be well on our way to building a house for Rebecca. Come on. Enemy. Let's see. Summoner's gift. Aw, they didn't drop anything. That makes me sad. I do love watching Salasa run, though. I should mix it up, though. I should grab some other cat and go adventuring with them. We had uh, we had Ferris from the Vasu Mountains for a while. There's a hair in my face, and it's very annoying. Honor the sacred power. But I'm better now. Come on. Surely these guys... Well, okay. We them the why is there so much cat hair on my- I say why is there so much cat hair on my face? My cat was lay laying on my lap rubbing her face all over everything. That's probably why there's so much cat hair. Um. Okay, one clay to go. I think Tiramis is about to run out of uh, Yeah, this is her last summoner's gift. It's fine though. It's fine. We'll just uh, eat food. Ooh. It's like a dungeon because you can't change your party or mess with the board, but at the same time you actually still have access to a lot of these things that you don't in an actual dungeon. Like you can't, uh, notices. You should look at the notice. You won't be able to see the notice because it likes to open it in a tab. We're gonna get another style, Chio. And manifestation weapons for Hazuki and Hismena. We don't have Hazuki or Hismena, so it doesn't really matter. But on the other hand, fishing buffs. Uh, cancel. There we go. I accidentally nearly closed too many tabs. Oh wait, we ate the food. So now we can continue murdering things until we get that last clay. Come on. One more clay. Okay, we've got a good chance here because there's two of them. I don't know why they're slugs because they look like plants. They really look like evil, oily pitcher plants to me. With an eyeball for some reason. Plants do not need eyeballs. Plants with eyeballs are very disturbing. In my, uh, my humble opinion. Uh, but eyeballs can be disturbing. After all, spiders' eyeballs are disturbing. They have too many of them. And flounders. Okay. Let's see, we've got... Uh, floor tiles in the furnace. We just need three wall plates. Okay. Received. Now we can build the furnace. Yes, please. Alright, we'll have it done before we know it. Off he goes. I, I guess we should have uh, tried to build ladders before he did that. Let's see if we can get the string and stuff for them at least. I could close this window. I didn't know I could do that. I'm gonna open it because it looks much brighter in here with it open. No, I'm trying to talk to him. Forager box. What's a forager box? Increase the amount of cotton picked. Sure. I would like more cotton, please. Also, I would like a torch. I know we need one of those. And I would like a bunch of string, please. Let's just make 20 strings. Because I think we need four string for a ladder. Or no, we need four string for a rope. We'll make five ropes. And then we'll go grab whatever's in the forest. Which means we'll have to switch back. Yeah, switch back to the uh, forest team. Party. 
We have no food, which is a bit of a nuisance because there's nowhere to eat here currently. I think eventually maybe there's an inn, but that's gonna take a while. Okay, yep. The forest has respawned. The resin, the lumber, cotton. I don't think that's what cotton looks like, but I will accept it nonetheless. Because it is useful to me. These guys hang out here too, so I guess... I think, do we get lumber off the Mackies? Yeah, we get lumber from the, the tree trunk monsters. Okay. Yeah, this part is not nearly as bad as the mining part. As long as you, uh up with it. Okay, this is just the flower area. I wish there was more of this area, though. I think maybe there is more you can unlock later. I, I hope there is. This is not a big area. And we uh, collect all the stuff pretty quickly. Is he here, or is he gone until he finishes? He's gone until he finishes. Wait, can I close his blinds? This is very important to understand. I can. I can close his blinds. I won't, but I can. Just has a massive pile of lumber in his house, and I guess he's always prepared to work. And with nothing better to do, I guess we'll pop back into the mines for a bit. Switch back to the mining, mining folk. Oh, if we do a poll, well, okay, we won't do the poll on the upcoming banner until next Saturday, because... It happens tomorrow. So, don't have explosives. So I have time to try and get up to 10,000 gems. I don't need them, but it would look cool to have them. I can't lose. Doki. I was hoping this area would have been recovered by now, but apparently oh, it has what? not. Maybe the lower level. We do have a torch, so I think we can go down, yeah, we can go down to the lower level and uh, light up that area that we couldn't go to before. Uh, no, we don't care about the docking station for the minecart. Unimportant. I think it's right there is where we uh, can, uh, oh wait, you can't see the map. Suppressing enemy. Welcome back, Grimthorpe 101. Did you get some good brekkie? light up. I think this area is where we can light light it up. Yep, this area needs a lantern or a torch. Eventually we will need to build lanterns, which is a pain. Oh, there's loot. Murmur scripts. Not necessarily amazing loot, but loot nonetheless. We have to, I think, complete a certain number of battles before the, uh, before the, uh, is she a smith house? E, you got four over easy eggs on rye bread. I've been having that a lot for breakfast and it's good. It sounds good. Rye bread is very nice. Sounds very good. Oh man, I want explosives. I want to go through these areas. But I cannot. We must advance the town so that we can have explosives. Like any good mining town should. It's very windy outside. I guess it shouldn't surprise me. The weather's cooled down quite a bit. It's gotten uh, very breezy. Very fall-like. Click, 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 click. Collect coal. Collect more coal, I guess. Yeah. The life of no Molina is here. You are right, Pikachu hats. The life of no Molina has indeed arrived. Gotta run around in the mine and be sad that we don't get nearly as much resources. Let's see. Okay. Oh, do we have a rope? I think we have a rope. Yeah, we do have a rope. But we're not going down there yet. We're gonna run over this way. See what I missed over here. When I ran
ran into a corner and stopped moving. Okay, we're gonna need another torch to go there. I think we only have the one. Yeah, we only have the one torch. Something to mine there, apparently. But uh, not at the moment. You're a fool to challenge me. Okay, good. We've still got plenty of empty, so we can go down and check out this third level. Hostiles eliminated. It's minus four for every mine torch without Melina. For every mine touch without Melina. Rip. Dang. She gives you plus four. That's a lot. Okay, apparently I need to go make some go make some torches. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we can check out the third floor, but nope, immediately stopped. Back to the entrance it is. We're working on uh, the house for Rebecca right now. I always forget that my my face cam is, uh, just pull on the Mythos banner. Oh yeah, I forget that that exists. It's one of the, uh, what do you call them? Victory achieved. Dreams. I often forget to look at these, so I forget when they add them. What on earth is that? Anyway. I forget about these. Is the Mythos one in here? Yeah, it is. Mythos. I guess the Mythos started before the auction house? Of course, this is clearly the best banner to pull on. The one with absolutely no rate-ups at all. back up up to the surface oh hey this respawned while we were gone auction came out first huh. I guess maybe they just added them added them as permanent banners in the reverse order maybe because the mythos went on longer that doesn't I don't think my explanation made sense we showed them the path click, 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 click. come Poporo. Let us collect all these materials. Mythos, Mythos was just bigger and wanted it out. Makes sense, because... It's, uh... It's got a lot of characters that, uh... You probably want to pull on while you're playing it. Whee! Let us go... Uh, no, that's not, that's not the rope, that's the minecart stopper thingy. You laugh at the time mine, mine banner that is on screen. Time mine banner. Uh. The mythos banner is right there, and it's just better. True, because it's got it's got Melina and other five stars instead of Melina and two four stars. Was the time mine the last episode that had four that came with four stars? Or was there another one after it? Because I know they stopped adding four stars. But I forget when they did that. Which uh, was kind of nice because then, uh, at least hopefully then they'll, uh, you know, upgrade the, uh, the four stars that already exist. Instead of adding more four stars that... I mean, they're not five stars, so they're not all that useful. Poor things. I guess, you know, some of them have very situational uses, like, like Palm. Grab the copper ore. Thank you. Okay, we need two lanterns. Or not lanterns, two torches. We don't need any lanterns yet, thank goodness. This place is horrifically infested with monsters. I guess it's good for us though because we need all their uh, stuff. Probably five stars needed in the end game content sometimes. It is nice that the five star versions of some of the old four stars are. Uh, I was gonna say sometimes useful. What you really need is six stars to make the five stars obsolete. Please no, <laughs> don't give me nightmares. I don't. I don't want my characters to be obsolete. I love them all. 
I even love my poor, weak characters like Popero. Darn it, I keep closing his window instead of talking to him. <laughs> okay, we want, mm, not rope, we want two torches. Okay. Six star, Xion will still be bad. Uh, he's cursed. Poor, poor Xion. <coughs> Excuse me, I need water. He isn't bad. <coughs> he isn't bad anymore. Just memeing. I guess his um, his uh, true true manifest is helping out. I thought that was dirt, but now I think about it, it's probably ore. you guys. Guess what? I've just finished up Rebecca's house. Not at all bad for a youngin. Not bad at all. Heh heh. Heh. Ain't it just. Let me know later what you think of the furnace and everything inside too. I'm going home to put my feet up for a bit. Come find me if there's anything else you need, okay? Whoa! Whoa, Maui. Maui, why are you so hyper? You're standing on my earbuds, kitty. Hey, Rebecca. It's kind of a belated question now, but I have to ask. Are you sure you don't want to go home? This true many gives him 30 power and, an e and a 20% extra crit damage. That sounds nice. My mother always told me to look ahead, not back. And his main spam guarantee crit. Nice. Is that why you don't have a home to go back to? Oh, wipe that sad looking expression off your face. I'm alright. And who knows, maybe me finding this village was just meant to be. It's funny, I thought my furnace shop days were over, but now I can't wait to get back to the furnace. How exciting. I meant to ask about that. What is a furnace shop exactly? These ores and minerals you find around the village, you bring them to me and I refine them into metals in my furnace shop. Mumukins! Mumukins, show your cute, cute face! Yes, yes, she's showing her cute face. Not really. Okay. You can sit on my lap. No need to give him crit support besides more crit damage support. That's pretty sweet. Ow. Maui, I need I need my earbuds. I can't hear the game. I can't hear the game if you uh, pull them out. Hey, that does sound handy. Thanks, Rebecca. No problem. Anytime you need something refined, bring it to me. My work is top notch, I guarantee it. I can now ask Rebecca to make things. Quest complete. Time to go ask her to make things. Make me things, Rebecca. Make... Okay. Uh, come on, let me move. There we go. Make me things. Oh, wait, I gotta check out her house. Oh, I can't close that window. It's too far away. She's got all these ores she has. <gasps> we can't even mine that yet. So fancy. Copper ingots, okay. You wish time well, you wish time mine wasn't so reliant on Melina. But it is a pain. Most of the um I guess most of these side stories, like, they're a bit more of a grind without the character, but they are manageable. But uh you lose an awful lot if you don't have Melina. Okie dokie. Of course, I've, I've, I've always been pretty lucky in Another Eden, which maybe is why I I like it. Uh, I, it, 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 it helps not to... Is your ear itchy, kitty? Please stop smacking me with your ear. Um, so I've, I've often had the characters for them. But not here, so uh, I guess I will follow in your footsteps. Aldo, intrigued at what Marlo does on a normal day, decides to secretly follow him. Okay, time to stop the mayor. You know you did it, like you said before. Oh, hello, Aldo. Were you looking for me? Uh, oh, hey there. Just passing through? Yes, I am. Don't you worry about me. Ah, alright. In that case, don't mind me. I've got to do some stuff. <laughs> oh, Aldo. Sneaking is not your strong point. Come to think of it, what kind of stuff does Marlo do on a daily basis anyway? Looks like he was headed to Rebecca's house just now. I'm really curious, actually. I should know I shouldn't, but I'll just have a quick look at what he's up to. 
I'm, I'm sure this will go well with all those natural, uh, complete lack of stealth ability. Poporo! There, there was no need to say Poporo, I just thought he was very cute. Wait, I think I... Back outside. Back outside, people. We need to hide out here. Or at least start out here. <laughs> Although, I finished replenishing those coal supplies, Rebecca. Anything else I can do? Oh, that's all right, Marlo. You've got a lot on your plate that you still need to get done, haven't you? No need to worry about that. Helping you out is already on my list. Just let me know what you need. Well, that's mighty kind of you. Nobody's done something so nice for me since my husband was around. Haha, <laughs> you can't flatter me like that or I'll be here all day doing chores just to hear more of it. Why don't I make sure that behind the house is nice and tidy before I go? And when that's done, I'll head out to check on in on Henry. Those are some big shovels. All right, feel free to leave some of it to me. Aldo being a creep. And what do you think you're doing back there? Uh, oh, hey there, just passing through. Yes, I am. Don't you worry about me. Indeed. Next up is Henry's house, nice and stealthy. I don't think Aldo has any idea what being stealthy is. He's uh, really bad at it. Like, surprisingly bad. Time to sneak up on the bard guy. And the mayor. <laughs> How'd he even get there? Aldo can't be a stealth man to save his life. Indeed, he could not. I, I've finished clearing the workspace. Henry, want me to help with categorizing and labeling the medicines next? Of course not. These are highly dangerous chemicals, Marlo. I can't allow you to risk your safety by handling them. Sigh, I'm sorry. I just don't know what to do with myself. With Aldo taking care of supplies and everyone else possessing all these special traits, there's nothing left for me to do. Excuse me. But that's precisely why I've got to make myself available to help with anything you guys need. So no need to hesitate. Ask away. There's so much. There's only so much you can do, Marlo. As always, you're over overthinking the matter. Chill out and chin up, as they say. Oh, and are you gonna summon for ASGO? Ah, uh, probably. Probably. I don't see why not. Really? Well, I've still got Terry's place to visit, so I guess I'll just do some dusting around the bottles or something. You gonna pull on AS oh, ASGO, or do you plan to, like, try to farm her? I really don't understand where he's coming from sometimes. By the by, Aldo, pray tell, what are you doing behind my bedside table? Nah, you're gonna farm her. Yeah, seems... Seems reasonable. I don't... I don't generally pull on forced RASs, but on here, since we've got so many gems, I, I figure we might we might give it a go. Oh, oh, hey there. Just passing through. Yes, I am. Don't you worry about me. Indeed. Next up is Terry's house. I'm not getting caught this time. I, th I think it's less that you're getting caught, Aldo, and more that they knew you were there the whole time. Let's visit that cheerful man. I went inside the house again. I keep forgetting. Gotta activate it outside the house. Four star units, I need to rush her. Yeah. Huff, wheeze, I'm done. Chopping that pile of wood. My arms, they're, they're still shaking. <laughs> How is he? He's like, he's gotta be like crouching next to the, standing next to the bed or something because otherwise his head wouldn't be peeking over that because it's really tall. I did tell you to leave it to me. You're not a lumberjack, and that's fine, Marlo. How can he stealth? <laughs> he can barely act. But if I keep at it, then one day I'll have the physical capacity to be. I mean, you've got the spirit already. But what did you? What? What did you? What would you do if you bent your back out this young, huh? He's got a little box. Ah, he's he's standing on a little box, peeking over at them. I guess you're right. But if only I were just a little stronger, then I could do more to help. Well, you know what they say? You can't do everything. Besides, you're smart. You don't need to be strong. Me, maybe you're right. I don't know. Sigh. Poor Marlo. He is sad. Jeez, and to think all he's got to do is quit worrying and go with the flow. That's all we really need from him. 
Ain't that right, Aldo? What are you doing back there, anyway? <laughs> uh, oh, hey there. Just passing through. Yes, I am. Don't you worry about me. Okay, if you say so. Next up is... Hang on, where was next again? Proud I missed that. Now I've got to track him down. I hope he's still in the village, at least. It's okay, kitty. Just because my phone beeped doesn't mean I'm going to talk to someone. My cat gets, like, jealous when I talk to people on the phone. I don't know why. Eh, kitty. Kitty, you're caught in my... You're caught in my earbud. Give it back. Thank you. As long as we're in the forest, we may as well grab all this uh, foresty stuff. Oh. No, cat, do not eat your box! My cat is... I don't know. I think she might be defective. She keeps chewing on her cardboard box. Sigh. I thought I could at least do something simple like foraging well enough by myself, but I can't even do that right. How does Aldo manage to be so good at everything? Rip Tiramis and her MP. <laughs> Watch out. Oh no, he's being attacked by a tree again. You're Just like when we first met him. Me. Did you see my Why are you eating your me? house? Don't eat your house. You don't want to eat cardboard, kitty. Wah. Oh, that was close. Thank you, Aldo. I get that it's practically in your backyard, but the forest still isn't the sort of... I know, I'm sorry. I've caused you trouble once again. Never mind causing me trouble. What about the other villagers? They'd be beside themselves if something happened to you. You're right again. I should go home and reflect on my selfish actions. Well... I think that's enough tailing to know what Marlo gets up to. Marlo, Marlo gets up to now. I should talk it over with the villagers. Is it really tailing if everyone knew you were doing it all, though, except maybe Marlo? I'm just really happy I learned that the F key you can interact with things with. Except sometimes I actually press it instead of A in combat, and then I use another force when I don't want to, and then I am very sad. Because then I have to charge it back up. Calm yourself, kitty kittens. Get on your knees and surrender. Jeremus is indeed running low on her MP, though. And we already ate our food, because we were uh, hanging out in the mine trying to get clay for Rebecca's house. Which we did. We did get the uh, clay for Rebecca's house. So... Okay, now we can leave the forest. And uh, apparently be ambushed on the way out. Tis my luck. Good data. I discovered the formula for victory. Do, do, do. Back to town. Chat with the villagers. At Marlowe's house. Are we just going to chat with Marlo? I'm confused. Okay, everyone's here. It's a party. All right, Aldo, we're all here just like you asked. Now, what the devil for? If it's gonna be a snooze fest, I'll be over here taking a siesta. My, this is almost like the neighborhood parties we used to have when I was a child. Takes me back. Well, I wanted to talk to you all about Marlo as a neighborhood. Um, okay, but why do that at my house? I've been tailing Marlo the entirety of today. I was curious as to what his day was today was like, and I saw that it's mainly him trying to help. Wait, you were following me? When? I had absolutely no idea. That's what you were doing. Well, as you observed then, Marlo does indeed help us villagers out a great deal. We're very thankful for it too. Poor Marlo. He must be an oblivious man to have not noticed. But we're always telling him that he really doesn't have to anyway. And it's not like we don't appreciate it, but I guess you could say it's just not very mayor mayorly of him to be doing that stuff. But what else am I supposed to do? I mean, I'm not much more than a figurehead as a mayor. That doesn't make you any less of a mayor, though, Marlo. My old man's a mayor, and he always said the biggest part of a mayor's work was doing exactly the kinds of things you do. <laughs> Damn Marlo rip. 
Really? Well then, you must be a real bona fide mayor. Bona fide. Bona, bona, bona fide. I can't read that word suddenly. Bona fide mayor, after all, Marlo. Surely it can't be that simple. Of course it can. Trust me, you make a great mayor for our little piece of rural paradise. And everyone else thinks so too, right guys? My fellow villagers? You know what? We're gonna throw an inauguration ceremony for Marlo. What? Slow down, Terry. A whole ceremony is a tall order to fill without lots of preparation. But it's true that the village should trust in their mayor. Exactly. An official ceremony with lots and lots of tasty eats. That's a kind suggestion of you both, but I don't think we need to do that, really. Yes, there is nothing like a celebration with free food. Terry understands. But if we don't, what about the tasty eats? Oh, I'll sort out some tasty eats for you later. So hush now, you hungry tyke. Wow. How about this? There's still a lot to do around the village, so we can consider it after that's all, after that's all done. Because with or without an inauguration, I'm still duty bound to put the village first and do what I can to help out around. To help around. Very well. If that's what you'd prefer, then that's what we'll do. That's right. No point forcing it if the main man of the event isn't on board. Plus, those tasty eats ain't running away. Um, okay then. I guess that's that. Thank you, everyone, for understanding. Your support means more to me than any fancy ceremony. I'm glad to know I have it. Quest complete. There we go. Hello, Marlo. Heard that Rebecca can refine metals for us. This place is starting to feel like a real mining village. She'll help you with the ore you've gathered. I imagine being able to refine metals is going to really help out on your explorations. We might even get some new visitors while you're out exploring, and so our dreams come to fruition. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to be exploring. Um, oh, I needed ladders. That's what I needed. And then I was building Rebecca's house, and so I couldn't ask him to build ladders. Please build me ladders, good sir. And, you know, maybe this other stuff, too. That's probably important. An inn? Okay, we're gonna build an inn. What do we need to build an inn? We need a glass window. We need... Five floor tiles. Uh, no. No, no, no. Dang, we can only build four. And I don't know if we can build any wall plates. Well, I guess we can build couple. Okay, three wall plates. How much do we still need? We need one floor tile, two plates, and a cotton sheet. I assume we need to go to... Yeah, oh no, clay. <laughs> clay is... awful. Okay, we need six clay. That's... That's lovely. I'm gonna be happy once we finish building all these buildings because presumably we won't need clay anymore or at least not as much uh, I mean I'm gonna be honest I have no idea Henry do you make the cotton sheets thingy cotton sheet is from the bard okay yeah uh, there we go torch okay I have torches let's get a nice cotton sheet uh, get some more string. Okay. Uh, we can only have this much string, apparently. Goodness. String is expensive. And, uh, while I'm here, I may as well... Let's see. Yes, we will get another torch. Because I'm sure we will need many a torch, so... May as well grab one while we can. You there, Terry. I wanted ladders and I forgot because I saw in and got really distracted. Okay, we can only have one ladder. Most tragic. If anything, your foraging is going quite well. Well, that's, that's good to know. That's good to know. Uh, let's see. You know what? I don't feel like going somewhere else to get food, so we are just going to switch to the mining team. 
and uh, we'll pop in. Oh, no, wait, that's the story team. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. You guys are useless for mining. Except Rika. Rika's actually good for mining. I'm back. There we go. We're gonna use up her MP real quick. And also, is that where I... No, I think that's an explosive, not a ladder. Yeah, it's an explosive. I think that maybe is a ladder. We're gonna use up her MP and then we're gonna swap her out for probably Nakoko. Let Nakoko uh, handle handle some of the uh, AOE clearing. I guess Victor can too, but Victor uses up his mana really quick. Honor the sacred power. Summoner's yeah. gift. Okay, we got like one or two more summoner's gifts. Ow! Victory achieved. Cat hair poking me in my face. I do not like to be poked in my face. Okay, yeah, this is like a little up, up, upper level. Okay, we can dump a rope down there. Let us explore this little area. And loot it of all of its coal. Although coal is not really important, it's clay we need. You guys do not drop clay. Uh, die. Thank you. No Very considerate monsters. Dragon summoner. I can't imagine the uh, they have long lifespans if they're going around like that full of dy not dynamite, full of uh, gunpowder. And they look like they're about to explode. Ooh, there's another chest. Gunpowder is important though. Indeed. You're a fool to challenge me. I guess in the long run it's probably good that clay isn't super common because I don't think we you need it for as much as like gunpowder. Medium class scrolls? Okay, that's nice. I can throw those on someone. Don't really know who. Okay, now we can go down this rope that we put down. Oh dear, we're out of... I'll need a lot of play for house. Okay. Oh dear. We're gonna die. We might die. <laughs> okay, here. Hold down the fort, Nomar. Uh, Pry, you're gonna heal because uh, Popero hits harder than you. For some reason. Oh, I don't know why. Okay, because he's uh, that's weak to his attack, that's why. Come on, guys! Smack these things. This is the this is the very sad way of killing enemies. Come on. There we go. No gear. Yes. These poor people have no gear. I have uh, massively neglected it. <laughs> it is very sad. Um, please, please forgive my my uh, laziness. Ah, oh, another area I can't go, no. I always think I can run slightly farther into the darkness than I can. Use the lantern, or not the lantern, the torch. Light the lantern, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Money. Well, at least now Tiramis can, uh, can kill people some more. I really should be able to get some better gear for them, but I kind of just neglected it. The only thing I've been working on is I'm slowly working on Tiramis's um, gauntlet or bangle. I forget what it's called, but the thing that gives her spirit. I'm working on that. Because uh, thank thanks to the combo of Tiramis, Victor, and Nakoko, we can run Rathal, uh, Otherlands Rathal hard. Don't think I could manage very hard, but uh, I don't think I want to either. I mean, I guess the weapons are still kind of good, but I don't really want to run that for, like, months. That seems miserable. Do -do -do. Grab this here stone. Uh, ah, I'm not running the correct way. I think Nomar actually has gear, maybe? Uh, 
fool to challenge me. They have like nothing. Well, they have they t these two have stuff. It's just really old stuff <laughs> from like the the early story. It's uh, it's very sad. Copper, shiny. I like copper. Copper is such a pretty color. Okay, actually, now that we have uh, now that we have uh, more MP on Tiramis, I guess we can run over and mine out this area too. Hiccups. Ah. Popro doesn't even have a weapon. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Which is extra sad, because uh, I really like him. I've just neglected to give him one. He's uh, he's just here to be pretty, I guess. Uh, I, I should give him one, though. Plus, you know, neglecting collecting the weapons is uh, really just ripping yourself off of uh, free Kroner's stones. I must hoard them. I don't really have a particular purpose for hoarding them, but I, I will hoard them. Because I pretty much, uh, on, on here, I only pull when uh, when you guys tell me to. Um, sometimes. Like, if you want, if you really want me to do a pull on something, I will. I will do it. Ah! It is important to note, though, that I cannot always tell when people are joking. It is a personal failing of mine. Get that, Melina. Do you want me to do a pull for Melina on the, uh... On the, uh... I can do, you can actually do pulls in this in this place, because it's like a dungeon, but it's also not like a dungeon. You want me to do a pull on, uh... The Song of Sword and Wings of Lost Paradise? We can do that. We have Pry and Rosetta. We don't have either of them, though. Uh, we did pull actually on uh, on the other one. Ah, you want to do a pull on time mine? The mythos. So we'll pull on the mythos banner and not the time mine banner. Cause we can pull on the time mine banner if you want. I mean, I know it's bad, but if you want me to do it, I'll do it. Okay, let's do a pull on. Wait, am I on the right banner? Okay. For a moment, I was afraid I was on this banner. I was like, I don't want to pull on that banner. I want to pull on this banner, because Pikachu hats told me to. Let's see what we get. We get a 5 star right away? AS4 in. Aw, but we already had 4 star 4 in. Regular Nika. Uh, Menezia. You have given us luck, Pikachu hats. I'm, I'm sorry that this luck was not your own. AS4 and WTF. Yeah, that was uh, quite quite lucky, really. Very first one, too. Nero! I could have used you back during Two Nights in the Holy Sword. Another Pry. Another Crervo. And a Raven. Okay. Well... No, uh, no Melina, but we did get an AS4 in. That's, uh, that's our first zone setter, actually. Data indicates first impressions are important. I am safe. A highly advanced artificial life form. Damage to my physical frame matters not. My fighting spirit protocols will never shut down. That was worth. Yeah, I think it, I think that went pretty well. That's guy. She did not have much to say. My name's narrow. I've got the strongest fists around here. You think I'm boasting? Oh gosh, I've been saying his name wrong for years. But that's just the honest truth. There's nothing in the world these fists can't break. <laughs> you still doubt me? That's just fine. I'll show you the truth the only way I know. That sounded really threatening. Why did that sound so threatening? That was a little concerning, actually. Well, there's another ladder, so we need another ladder to get up there. Yeah, so we got 4N. That, that's pretty sweet. A AS 4N. We already had regular 4N. Regular 4N is... Regular 4N is regular 4N. So now we have a zone. Unfortunately, she is a, a weapon zone and not a type zone, so we can't really... I mean, I guess you can use her with Nakoko, but... Just got here, you got an AS4N. Yes. I won? 
And it's foreign, it's not a character. <laughs> um. Yeah, Pikachu Hat said we should do a poll on uh, the Mythos, the Mythos banner to try and get Melina for the time, the time mine. Uh, we did not get Melina for the time mine. However, we did get a uh, uh, AS Foran. Congrats, she's very good. That's good, that's good. I don't, I was gonna say, I don't know if we have much in the way of fierce characters. We've got Tiramis, but she's mostly about fixed damage, so I, I don't know if she counts. Did you see my graceful move? I don't have a torch for that. Can team support very well, deploy Pierce Stone, and do quite good damage? Yeah, because she has, um, she has Pierce Stone, that's what I remembered. Because we don't, we actually don't have any zone. Well, we we now have a zone setter. We didn't have any zone setters, because Behold the holy uh, we haven't got the free ones yet. Which are the free ones? Oh dear, now we have to do this again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have left. I should have left, but I didn't. Kopuro. Crush them all. Let me show you what I can do. And by crush them all, I mean do very small amounts of damage because I neglected to give you a weapon. For the early game, her heals her heals is pretty good. That's good. We're a little low on healers. Um, well, we've got we've got Nakoko. We've got Nakoko for heals. Fixed 1k to 1.8k heals based on attack on stacks. Okay. Let's see. Just do judgment right, I guess. And uh Come on, Nomar. Kill everybody. I really need to stop neglecting these poor these poor folks. Also, hello, coffee drinker. I forgot to say hello. Oh, I forgot to have someone heal. I must not slouch. It is very hard. Oh no! Our damage dealer Nomar has run out of MP. Bless your soul. And when you say damage dealer Nomar, you know things aren't going well. I'll do it. Okay, let's get out of here. Just give AS4 and some scrolls. Yeah, actually I've, I've picked up some scrolls, so I should I should feed them all to her. I was giving all the scrolls to Nakoko, but then Nakoko caught up with Tiramis, so I stopped giving them all to her and started using them on the other characters that were kind of low levels. I think I think I used some on uh, Victor as well to get him up to uh, up to kind of their level so we could fight the Shadow Witch. It took me a while to defeat the Shadow Witch. It was uh, a little sad. Probably shouldn't have been as hard as it was uh, if I actually took care of my poor little people. I promise I will take better care of my of my uh, characters that aren't Tiramis. I don't know if I actually will, but I'll try. I'll try. After all, Tiramis can't carry forever. The thing for, about Nakoko is the fact that you can't do her character story. I know, it's it's sad. I'm like so far away from being able to do her character story. There's not a lot of point. Yeah, because I can't, I can't upgrade her big ability. Her, uh, her one. Kind of just use her as a support for her, um, for her, uh, what do you call that? Her uh, type. I think she has like a type and physical resistance a bit up ability and a heal. I mean, I guess her heal isn't that great because I think it's on her big ability. But uh, I've, I've been using her as a healing supporting kind of character. Let's see. What is that over there? I guess we're supposed to be doing something there. It's the passed out lady. We will deal with you in a moment. I need to go see if I got enough, enough clay on that adventure. Terry! Please tell me we got enough clay. Okay, what else do we need to make the inn? One floor tiles. And two. No. No, I need I need one more clay. <laughs> clay is very important because I hate it so much. I hate it so so much. Okay, we're going back in. We're going back in till I get one more clay. Uh, here, we will switch out Tiramis. Uh, I think, wait. Okay, no, she's actually got plenty of MP for now. Okay. We will get that last clay. We will get that last clay and then we will help the passed out lady. It's, uh, you know, you gotta keep your priorities straight. I need an inn so Tiramis can eat and recover her MP. 
Hear noises. I think someone's vacuuming. Please drop clay. I'm watching you, slug. It didn't. It didn't drop clay. Why are they slugs? That <laughs> passed out lady isn't AS4 and it's okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Just run back and forth. I don't know if it's optimal, but that's what I do when I need to farm You're something. I just run back and forth. Me. Until I get it. Okay, there's two of them. Come on. No one dropped anything. Well, that's just cruel. That's marvelously cruel. Why would you do such a thing? Look at these little people run. I like Salasa. I like watching him run. He's so adorable. I need to collect more cats. I don't think I've collected all the cats in the areas we can go to yet, because I haven't been back to them all since I've been able to collect the cats. Wait, did I get clay? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I don't think I did. So we run back and forth until Tiramis runs out of mana. Or MP. I guess maybe that needs mana points. Oh, gunpowder. That will be useful someday, but not right now. Late game because of enemy encounter plus one makes time mine hilariously easy to farm for clay and gunpowder powder. Oh, that sounds lovely. That sounds very lovely. I, I, uh, not here on mobile. I killed a hundred of those stupid sandworms in the Rakyana Desert, and it took summoner. forever. I mean, I don't think that's even the worst enemy to get to uh, to kill a hundred of. It was just I don't know why, but I, I particularly hated that one. It was so boring. So very very boring. It's one of the worst. Okay, that's good to know. That was not fun. <laughs> I think that was when I started to stop killing a hundred of every single enemy I ran into before moving on. I used to have a really bad habit of doing that. Enemy encounter plus makes everything easy. Dang. We need to- I need to work on the main story some more again, but th there's all these fun side stories too. There's too much fun stuff to do in another Eden. We showed them the path. Give me clay! Sorta. Of. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you're- you're, uh... I was trying to think of a situation where it wouldn't be useful to be able to make enemy encounters... more. I mean, with how you are, are, you're not that strong for the main story, Rip. Very true, very true. We were struggling with Celestial Tower. So... We need to we need to collect up some of these. I was gonna say some of these nice free characters. I'm sorry, Popero, you're not one of the the free characters that we will probably be using. I don't know. Maybe just use Popero anyway because he's adorable. Oh dear. I. Uh, yep. Nomar, you're tanky. Get in the front line to take hits. Let me show you what I can do. We've got some other- oh. Fry's dead. <laughs> yeah, these guys, they need, uh, they need some- some love. Blunt attack. Phalanx guard. Okay, we can bring, uh, we can bring Teramis back in. Yeah. She's back up now. Okay, yeah. Time to... Time to wipe these guys out and leave the mine, because this is a very unfortunate, uh... We got the clay. We got the clay. All is well. All is well. We can flee the mine. Please don't attack me on the way out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out of the mine. Thank you. Okay, now we should finally be able to build... Build... I'm running the wrong way. We should be able to build... The wall plate that we need. Okay, wall plate. Received. <sighs> Time to build an inn. You just realized Tiramis has Aldo VC, which is really good. Oh, they have the same one. Is it like, um, power, not power up. Like, you know what? I can just look at it. I should have remembered this. What is your VC, Tiramis? Your 
BC is... Power of all party members plus 20% and physical resistance plus 20%. She's only got level 2 because we can't... We cannot... We have to complete chapter 31 to be able to do her next quest. I really want to be able to do that too because... Because we're stuck. Um, I tabbed out. We are stuck on her ability board because we cannot unlock... Come on, load in. Load in. We can't, we can't unlock this until then. And so we can't unlock this until then. And I really want this because she's she's has a lot of trouble with level 60 enemies because they have more health than her fixed damage at a, the second level this ability can do. I guess we can get her these things though. Here you go. Have some more of whatever this is. All of this stuff. I don't see any spirit. There's some spirit. Here, have three more spirit. How much farther do I need to go for her third quest? Uh, I believe we just started the Ogre Wars. Uh, so, I think we need to finish the Ogre Wars? Or at least get a lot fur further in. There you go. Have all- oh, nope, there we go. Not spirit, not important, indeed. There we go. Gave her some more of that stuff because I forgot to level her up. And, uh, oh yeah, talk uh, talk to the passed out lady. A single withered flower. A girl, Aldo finds a girl collapsed at the entrance of the village. She doesn't respond to Aldo's voice and seems to have fainted. Oh, I need to, I need to feed, uh, Sephora and the XP scrolls I have. Huh, wait a second, is that? Double checked and you need to beat chapter 31 to do it, which you're not that far from. Okay, because I know it said chapter 31, but I honestly have no idea how close I am to that. It is a person. I've got to help them. I think I'll need to get my people geared up better for that, though, because we were starting to struggle at the end. Um, at the end of the uh, story, first chapter of the story, I guess. Hey, are you okay? She's unconscious and, with and burning with fever. Help. Someone help. What's the matter with you, Aldo? Shouting down the entire village, like... AS Warren can help? That's good. Holy splitting woodchuck- wood- wood- I can't speak. Woodchucks. Don't just stand there, Terry. Help me carry her to someplace restful. Or if you should just get the Tails slash Persona characters, yes. I should work on those, cause... Cause we can do those. Well, Henry, have you seen anything like this before? As a matter of fact, I have. She appears to have the same illness a patient of mine once suffered from. I can make the same medicine for this young lady that I prescribed for him. Great, I'll get you any ingredients you need. Just tell me what they are. Thank you, Aldo. You should be able to find all of them in the flower beds deep within the forest. I'll put her up at my place, so bring the medicine to my furnace shop once it's ready. Right, I'll be back as soon as I can. Actually, we've been playing like all the like uh, the early ep episodes. Is that what they're called? Like side story episode things. So we should probably do the uh, crossover ones too because they're they're doable more in the early game, I believe. Oh right, Tiramis. I'm just gonna swap you out for someone else briefly. I don't know if they resist stuff in the forest. Uh, um, we'll see if Nokoko's AoE does much of anything. Technically, Celestial Tower isn't an early special ep early episode. That's true. Celestial Tower is kind of the exception. Uh, we did that one for Cyrus. We need to, uh, we need to get strong so we can, so we can unlock his, uh, six, his, uh, six, his, uh, five star upgradableness. Resist and even null doesn't affect summoner's prayer damage. That's pretty sweet. Ow! I, can't I knew I didn't I knew it didn't care about resistance, but I didn't know it, it didn't care about null. I was said I was gonna use Nikoko's AoE and then I forgot. Wrong team. Oh you're right, it is the wrong team. Uh, cat she took. Yeah, she only does like four thousand damage. It's absolutely it's absolute only thing. It, only thing it increases decreases it is spirit. 
Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm working. I am working on getting her um her armor from uh, Raffle Otherlands card. I say I'm working on it. I've been slacking off. I'm very sorry about that. Um, but we do have the basic version of it. We just need to upgrade it now. Still just gonna grab all these because I'm here anyway. But yeah, I'm not getting as much. It's fine. It's fine. I'll do my best. Got ship hook, heal, mind stamp. Uh, no. Oh jeez, poor, poor Popera. I clearly haven't even leveled him up in quite a while because he has only two skills. I'm sorry, Popero. I've been neglecting you. You're actually one of my favorite episode characters. Okay. We have the ingredients for the medicine. Mackie Forest. It is, in, it is indeed full of Mackies. But also, for some reason, uh, uh, monsters from the uh, mine. I guess maybe they live up here and they just went down there to hang out. Now we can cure the lady. That's a nice... I closed the window. That's a nice harp. Hello there, what do you need? Medicine. I need medicine. Order. Thank you. No. Uh, well, okay, I'll order some string. Order three strings. Well, the stall team Tiramis can technically cheese any boss, but it takes forever. Yeah, I would imagine, because her, her damage, it seems like it's really good. This uh, The medicine is ready. Thanks, Henry. I'll get this to Rebecca's house right away. Her damage seems really good for dealing with mobs, but because it's capped, it just seems like it falls off. Falls off horribly with uh, bosses. She can stall with AS4 and now. <laughs> They can, uh, they can team up. Time to complete the quest of helping the strange passed out woman. You got the medicine all though? Great. I'll administer it, administer it to her. Wait outside if you don't mind. We, want the, we don't want the poor girl to be overwhelmed by a crowd of strangers when she wakes. k to 667k damage for a boss that has over 1 mil 100 million hp takes a while yeah yeah that uh, that sounds like it would be quite slow well how is she she's not 100 percent, but she's regained consciousness at least yeah that's an improvement i mean we've been using we've been using tiramis to take out some bosses like um uh, i forgot what he's called Chronos Umbra, Eden, that that boss. We, we had to use Tiramis to take that out. It wasn't so bad because, you know, it, it's uh, part of the... I, I always want to call it the base game, but I don't know if that's the correct way to refer to it as. But, you know, the first chapter. But I can imagine it gets really, really slow and grindy to try and kill bosses with her. It is, but it's clear that she has a weak constitution in general. I think I'll keep an eye on her for a while, just in case. Under your care, I'm sure she'll be fine. Just take it easy for now, you hear? It's no trouble, just focus on getting well. But thank you, you saved my life. Now wait just a minute, I told you to rest until you're better, didn't I? Uh, I'm sorry, I just wanted to say that. And I told you, don't worry about it. Tiramis is great for mobbing in early game, she just falls off hard. Yeah, we've started to hit the point where she falls off. Like, it's uh, it's unfortunate, but on the other hand, it does mean I have to actually level other characters. Now, back to bed with you. Can't have you collapsing again, or I might faint with fright myself. Off they go. Bye-bye. That is a very large door handle. She seems sweet, but also the kind of person who push themselves too far sometimes. I hope she gets well soon. Quest complete. Once you beat the third character quest, she'll be good for a long time. Yeah. Using other stuff, what is this? <laughs> I, I really want to work more on my, my story. I like my story characters, but man, it's just a pain to get them up to like five stars. I mean, I guess for most of them, I need to advance the main story and do their side quests. Cause I think the only one 
I'm anywhere close to being able to get to five stars as Cyrus, and I don't I don't think I can beat the the other versions of the Shadow Witch, considering how hard it was to beat the first version of her. Okay, we actually we really have to go uh, eat food somewhere. We'll, we'll go grab a food in in Baruoki and see if there's uh, I think there's a cat in Baruoki I have not collected yet. It's the one that's only there sometimes, and I haven't found it. Although since I mostly play on the weekends, it's probably not there. Baruoki cat, I just want to add you to my cat collection. I love my cat collection. It is full of adorable cats. Hello there. Oh, this cat isn't here right now. <gasps> Sparkle. Mine. Nope, we're not doing that right now. Where is the other cat? I guess there's no cats here right now, actually. Only Aldo and Amy are story, char or char story characters that unlock through story. Okay. Ricka and Helena. They oh they have a like an episode, right? To get their five stars. I, I think is how you do them. Let's see. Oh wait, this is the house. Why am I so confused? I forget that in Bar Loki there isn't an inn. Hi, Fini. I didn't Fine. There we go. Thank you, Fine. Actually, I should sleep too. Oh gosh, these guys are in here. Hot diggity, living under the same roof as Fine and Aldo. That's the life for me. Sup, Aldo? Peace has returned to this land of ours. Guess you and me are a real family now, huh, bub? Technically Fine as well, but that's chapter 83. Uh, no, actually, I do not want to begin the cat adventure right now. Yeah, we're a long way off from Fine five stars. Wait, I know what I can do. It is genius. I will eat Fine's sandwiches. And then I will immediately go grab more sandwiches. This shall overcome the fact that I can't use the bed because it wants to start the cat adventure. Sorry, Fine, I don't want to talk to you. I just want sandwiches. Thank you. Thank you, Fine. And then we can swap. Swap Tiramis back into the party instead of Nokoko. Because Nokoko is just... Not good at wave clearing with the first level of her ability. I'm sorry, Nakoko. <laughs> you like how the uh, mayor just accepted all the random people from different races and eras that he travels with? The mayor, the mayor's a cool guy, I guess. I say I guess. He, he is cool. The mayor is cool. What you don't want to get... <laughs> what, you don't want to get Vive five stars right now? Even has, even has beasts living in their house? Indeed. He is... He is, uh... Oh, hey, he's working. Hello there. Oh, hey, he can still build stuff while he's building stuff. Dang it. I never have enough string. I don't think... Do we even have regular bivet? I'm not sure. Board. Do we have regular bivet? Filter... Staff. No, we we don't even have regular. Oh no, wait, we do have regular Bivet. There she is. Okay, I just haven't used her at all. So we do have her at least. Oh, feed Foran. Yes, you are right. Let us feed Foran. A filter Lance. Foran, I need you to swap to your other version of yourself. go. Consume the scrolls. Wait, it'll go faster if I hold down the button. Eat every single one of the scrolls. There we go. All the way up to level 54. That's nice. I'm not gonna watch that. That's kind of slow. There we go. I'm sorry, Foran. You can't come right now because... What are we supposed to do here? <laughs> Get her five star skill. You are very correct. That is not the correct thing I clicked on there. Could fill out most of her board with how many points they have. Dang it, I hate how it puts the party people first. I guess it makes sense, but it always confuses me. I actually wanted to use Sawyer to tank uh, the Shadow Witch. Then I realized that Sawyer was a three star, and I went, okay, no more it is then. 
my fight with the Shadow Witch was very sad. Unlock all of this. I mean, I also would have needed to turn the, the, the language to Japanese if I was going to do that, because I do not want to listen. I do not want to listen to English. English Soira. English Soira makes me very sad. Because I really love her design, and I really do not like her voice in English. I actually don't know what she sounds like in Japanese, but I imagine it's better than English. <laughs> Rematch the Shadow Witch with AS4 in. I imagine that would go a lot better. Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's try and get- okay, we can't get that one. We'll need to do- we'll need to do Foran's character quests. I imagine we can do both- mo most of them, if not all of them. I don't know if any of them are particularly locked behind story content. I will to have to- I will to get Five Star Cyrus, that is true. The Shadow Witch you have to fight for, um, Five Star Cyrus. Does she have the ability to make things stone? Because I thought the Shadow Witch was going to have the ability to turn things to stone when I fought her at the end of Celestial Tower, but she didn't. Um, okay, I can do them all because I did IDA one. Okay. I, and I was like, I thought she had the ability to do that because I have I have done that. I have, I have fought that before. Um, I tend to lag massively behind in doing things in another Eden um, on my mobile account. Except if it's, uh, if it's getting five-star Cyrus, then I did not lag behind. Need to clear IDA 2, chapter 1 for AS4N's character quest. Okay. That's, that doesn't seem too difficult, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll just, uh, you know what, I can't help it. I need to spend all these points. I need to spend them all or it will haunt me. We'll just grab everything on this board. Not too long for the first part of it. Yeah, the first the first chapter of the episodes usually seems to be like the shortest part too. I guess because it kind of just introduces it. Um, and then they kind of seem to get a bit longer as you go. Although also like when we uh, did the Ocean Palace, it went so much faster because we didn't need to farm five million uh, pearls to progress. Now I just need to far farm 5 million pearls to uh, collect all the rewards. And by 5 million, I don't actually mean 5 million. I'm sorry, I didn't save 3 points. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I can't, I can't help it. I have a problem. BRB, we'll see, we'll see you again shortly, coffee drinker. Um, oh, okay, we have a quest to start here. Hello, Marlo. Second mine, a new visitor approaches. Marlow is worrying about how to develop the village and is wondering how to mine high quality ore. He seems to have an idea. I've got these interesting, like, plants with reddish leaves. Oh, Aldo, perfect timing. I've been spending some time going through old documents and found that the other mine in Horai has better minerals than the other one. That was a confusing way he wrote that. You're back? Welcome back, coffee drinker. For some reason, a landslide, perhaps. The way to it is entirely blocked off with rocks and rubble. If only we had some kind of explosive, we might be able to clear the way. Ooh, we're finally gonna get explosives. I've been wanting those. Some kind of explosive, huh? I'll try asking Henry. It sounds like he's seen and done a lot in his travels. Maybe he'd know how to make one. No, 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 let me go. Let me go. I, I enjoy the quest accepted music, but I want explosives very badly. I like Salasa's little, like, he's got like little eyebrows can't see them very well there. He's very cute. We gotta talk next to the harp to discuss explosives. Hey there, Henry. I wanted to ask if you know how to make explosives. Explosives? Why ever would you want something so loud and dangerous, good sir? Remember the mine entrance to the northwest that's blocked by rocks? I want to open it up and get inside. To give chase to the great one of legend, no doubt. Very well, let me see. A simple bomb the size of a fist would pose me me no trouble, but for something with enough kick to clear those boulders? Hmm. That's it. When I was last in Rind, I had the pleasure of making the acquaintance of a rather skilled pyrotechnician. She's something of a firecracker, to be sure, but I'm sure you can handle her, and she'll certainly be able to help you. Wait, what's that supposed to... 
Well, never mind. Whatever she's like, it looks as though I'll be needing her help. Did you catch her name at all? Let me think. Yes, I believe her name was Hilda. Time to go to Rind. Hilda, right? Okay. I'll head to Rind and see if I can find her. I like Rind. Rind is nice and peaceful. Really, the only thing wrong with Rind is that Rind's sunfish live there. Gonna be honest, you always thought this bard would be a playable character when you first started playing. It'd be cool if one of these, like, I like, I really like the design of the bard characters. I guess it's a little sad this guy doesn't have a unique design, because I think a lot of the characters, I say a lot, I know that, um, the mayor has, like, a unique design. And I can't remember if Terry has a unique design, or if it's just that not many other characters share that one, because some of the designs seem to be more common than others. There's a character quest for someone we don't have. Currently in the party. Kitty! Oh, we already collected that kitty. Do you want to come with us, kitty? Yeah. There's Hilda. Hilda looks like she should be a playable character. She's all fancy. No, Miss Hilda, you can't. You wish all of the Horai characters were a lot more unique? That would be cool, because they, they, they're like a lot more unique in all their stories and everything than these poor unfortunate random town folks. Oh come on, are you really telling me you don't want to catch fish with explosives? Think how big a catch it would land you. I'm pretty sure I heard the name Hilda just now. Could it be the same pyrotechnician I'm looking for? Sure, but then they'd all be dead and no fish would be stupid enough to come near the place again. Ugh, must you always be such a drag. Loosen up, live a little. And trust me, I'm a doctor of explosives. It'll be fine. Last time you said that, you ended up setting the whole port ablaze in a sea of fire. Who had to explain that to the guard from Unigan who came to investigate after seeing smoke? Me, that's who. After that traumatic experience, I don't think I'll ever be able to trust you when you start bringing up bombs and doctorates ever again. But you need to kill all the Rind sunfish. I, I feel the Rind sunfish deserve it. But darling, don't you want to see the fruit of my love for explosives blossom into a beautiful self-immolating career? Uh, sorry to interrupt, are you Hilda? What is it? Oh my, well, aren't you quite the handsome strapping young lad? Hello. I, I, I am? Wait, no. That's not what, I came, what I'm here for. I came seeking your counsel. If you like blowing stuff up, there's this village in the middle of nowhere that could use you doing that there. Go off to fishing later will make the Rin sunfish not bad, you guess? I hope. I really, really hope. You will? Geez, that's close. I mean, as long as you don't mind a long journey there, sure. And I can explode things. Well, well, yeah. As much as I want. Yep, sure. That sounds like heaven. Well then, what are you doing standing around there lollygagging like a simpleton? Take me there at once. Chop, chop. Okay, okay, just ease up on the invasion of personal space a little. Come with me. Uh, I'm very- I'm really excited for the update. I, I always get really excited when there's an update to another Eden. Even if it's like not necessarily something I can currently play. I'm just like, it's a new content. So exciting. Sometimes I mark it on my calendar. You still need to decide grade Hismena for her manifest. Uh, so you have, you have Hismena AS and not Hismena NS then. Oh yeah, because Hismena and Hazuki are getting manifests. Is that correct? Yep. Nice. Are they gonna are they gonna be good? I know Hismena was good back in the day, but I imagine she's been power crept a whole lot. This is that heavenly place you spoke of, right? Right? Yeah, kind of, except for the fact that you can't blow everything up here. Yes, yes, whatever. No need to fret about that. My craftsmanship is top notch. It only explodes what it needs to. Both are quite good. Nice. I guess usually when a character gets a manifest weapon, they usually do get good. Are there any? There's probably been some where it didn't help them that much, but I would assume it still made them better than they were. It'd be really sad if it somehow didn't even make them better. For Marlo and the others' sake, I hope so. Now, first things first, I'll be needing a dedicated place to get to work. Ismena's Manny makes her a really strong AoE attacker. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I, I, I really like people who can do AoE damage because there's so many things that need to be AoE'd. Now, first things first. Oh, wait, I already said that. 
Terry should be able to do that for you. I'll get him on it right away. No, no, you won't, Aldo. Hilda became a villager. Hilda! I mean, look at Manny Sheon. <laughs> yeah, I guess he didn't, uh, he didn't improve too much. Poor. Copper mining hammer. I assume we're going to need more floor tiles. I'm gonna build some floor tiles. I need to- I think I need to do like a certain number of battles or something before. Are there two Terries right now? Okay, there's not two Terries! At least he got a true manifest now that gives him the redemption- or gave him the redemption he needed. Yeah, Pikachu Hats was telling me about it. I was- I was happy for poor Shion. I- I know he's been- he's been a meme for quite some time, the poor- the poor lad. Is this the right team? This is the right team. I need a couple more fights for the inn. Okay. Yeah, I need I need him to finish building the inn so I can find out what I need for uh for the next thing. And then I won't need to leave Horai to get my uh, MP back for uh Tiramis. What are we under attack by? Hopefully some of them will drop clay. Because I imagine we're gonna need a bunch more clay for uh all the rest of the buildings. <laughs> Once you finish building all the buildings, do you ever need clay again, or is that it for clay? Why is everyone doing things I didn't want them to? Manifest Tazuki can also do quite high, da high AOD AOE damage, but also has a priority skill with 50% fire resist resist resistance, 30% pierce resistance, and 80% speed debuff. Highest speed debuff in the game. Oh, like, um, so they, they lose 50% fire resistance and 30% resistance. Dang, that sounds nice. I didn't, uh, yeah, cause isn't, isn't she pretty slow? I, I remember that was one of the problems with Hazuki, was that she's slow. And I think, doesn't she, didn't she have a buff that makes herself slower? I forget. Cause I guess being slow is not good for, for another force. Cause you don't get to, you don't get to move as often. Eliminated. She's quite slow normally, but compensates for it now. That sounds good. That'll be lovely. Who was, there was some character I was thinking of lately. I was like, I wonder, I mean, I guess pretty much all the old characters get manifests eventually and or another styles. Um, who was I was thinking of though? Oh, it was Lovely! It was Lovely! I used to use Lovely You're on mobile. To challenge me. But if we talk- if we were talking about slow, let's talk about Daisy who comes out in a couple months. Is she slow? Is that her thing? I don't really know anything about her. I saw- I saw the picture of her and I went, I want to save up Chrono Stones to dump them all on this character because I love her design. And uh, that was kind of all I knew about her. I was just like, ah, oh, this looks very cool. So, so, being slow, is that her thing? I guess I already asked that. They're the slowest character in the game and her gimmick is making herself and party Did even slower to do more damage. At level 80, she has 138 speed. Goodness, that is very slow. Interesting. I wonder how, I mean, I would assume she probably isn't a big another force character then, or maybe there's some way to work around how slow she is? I, I don't know. Her speed is just barely higher than four stars. That is very slow. Oh dear, under attack again. That sounds very interesting. I, I wanna I wanna see how that how that goes down. She compensates with damage like damage. <laughs> Uh, I do I do enjoy I do enjoy a character who does a lot of damage. Because if they do a lot of damage, even people who aren't that good at figuring out the smart ways to do things can can cope. Uh, I'm I'm not the best at another either. And by not the best, I mean I'm quite quite bad actually. I, I just like to collect things. I like to collect the characters, I like to collect the weapons. I have AS4 on? I do indeed have AS4 on. I'm not- I'm not good at another Eden, but I am very lucky at another Eden. 
I'm very lucky, actually. Get on your knees I've been, I mean, we, we only do free pulls on here, and we've actually gotten quite a few good characters. She's And she's a def not definition of not smart, but damage. <laughs> if you give her the Falcon, Falcon Blessing Grasta and use AF on the first turn, then her first move out of AF is priority. Interesting. Ah, I'm stuck. And surely AS Foran shall help me to achieve my goals of... I'm not really sure what my goals are. Just just playing through another Eden, I guess. So it can nuke an enemy after despite... After AF despite speed. Well, that's very nice. That's very cool. I'm excited. It's kind of... It's kind of cool, but also kind of sad to... Well, not really sad. That, that like, um... Global Another Eden is a couple months behind Japanese Another Eden. Because on the one hand, you get to know what's coming up. And you can kind of plan for it. But on the other hand, then you have to wait for the really cool thing you want. And you're like, I want it now, because it's so cool. AS4 and is still broken a year plus later. Wow. She must be good then, because... I know, I know, uh, I know the power creep can get pretty intense sometimes. Victory achieved. I will, uh, I will need to continue feeding her the scrolls and, uh, put her into our, our teams that can use her. Smack, smack, smack. No, I don't want. Global used to be like six months behind. Yeah, they've been closing the gap for a while now, haven't they? Um, it's only two? Okay, that's how, that's how much it is now. She has the second highest base speed in the game at 258. Or she has the highest, second, high, second highest later. So someone else is going to come out soon that has a higher... I say soon, I guess within the next two months that has a higher base speed. I I got a new phone for my birthday, because I had my birthday the other day. So I had to change my Another Eden to it. Anyway, the, the point is, I, I, was not sure, I was never sure when I started playing Another Eden, but when I tra transferred my account... I discovered I've been playing it since, like, February 16th, uh, the, uh, what was it, like, two years ago, so. I have been playing quite a while. Um, I just play at my own pace, because the game lets me do that, and I really, really appreciate that about it. That's why it's pretty much the only mobile game I stick to. I'll do my best. Other things, they have too many events and things, and I get tired and I quit. It's the nicest part, honestly. Yeah. Like, if I want if I want to just ignore fishing for a long period of time, I can do that. Kikyo AS has a speed stat of 261 when she comes out. Oh yeah, Kikyo AS. I saw her picture too. I I probably shouldn't. I mean, it might be exciting maybe for some people to not look at the upcoming content, but I can't help it. I always want to look at it and see what's coming up. Unlike pretty much every other gacha game. Yeah. I have played a lot of mobile well not a lot I've, played, I've tried other mobile games but when i started playing another eden and and it didn't immediately gate me off by running out of like energy to do things i went this this game is wonderful i love it and i've been playing it ever since i mean sometimes i don't play as much as other times but Get on your knees it's just it's render. it's uh i love it i love it so much i love it so very very much that's why i decided to stream it did you see my I just wanted moves. to be able to talk about it. You love that another Eden doesn't gate off the event stories? Yeah, it's wonderful. It's just, it's wonderful. I mean, yeah, it's it's still a gacha game. You still, sometimes you really want a character and you just can't get them. Like, I'm, 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 I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably pull a bunch on Daisy when she comes out. I say a bunch. I suck at, suck at saving up gems. On here, I don't suck at saving up gems because I only pull when occasionally but on my other account i suck at saving them up so i'm like i'll probably spend them all on her and i won't get her <laughs> but that is the way of things it's what i have to accept about playing a game like this plus the free characters are actually pretty good and i really appreciate that i mean i guess the older ones aren't so good but they seem to be doing better it took you a long time to get melissa Melissa, yeah, she's she is good. She's the one who came to Globe, not glo yeah, Global first, right? Which was unusual. I won. Clark, after you beat Mythos, is one of the best mages in the game even now. Oh, that's nice. 
Another reason. Oh, dang. Sorry, I'm being reminded to fix my uh, or feed my cats. Clart is broken. Or Melissa is broken. I guess maybe Melissa is broken. I know that you can use Melissa to beat um, Uka Ukaji really easily because he doesn't have a uh, health. A health. What do you call that where they. Uh, health stopper. Goodness, I can't think of my terms. HP stopper. Yeah. You know the words. Thank you. I guess we have explored as far as we can, so we may as well go back and see if that inn is built now. And hopefully we've gotten enough clay to do at least some building of Hilda's home. Get on your knees and surrender. I really like Melissa's design. I, I really I like I like the characters' um designs a lot. Like, it, just in general, I like a lot of their designs. Some of them I like more than others, obviously. Um because you can't like everyone equally. I mean I guess you could, but it sounds like a lot of effort. But I really like Melissa's design. I think she looks really cool. I like I like to uh Get on your knees and That's part of why I like to look at the upcoming content. I, I like to see the new designs for the characters. Melissa being a synth human makes her design really nice. Yeah, the synth humans, I guess the synth humans, I kind of like their design. I mean, I guess uh, Helena is kind of different, but I really like Helena's design too. That is not the way out. What am I doing? I really like Helena a lot. I know she's, uh, I don't think she's still all that good even after getting buffed, but I like her. So uh, I tend to use her when I can. Helena and Cyrus are my favorite main story characters. Up the rope we go. We didn't really have much for synth human characters for a long time until Melissa came out. Uh, who? I mean, is there even... There's... There's... There's Helena. And there's the other one. Did you see my there's two of them before her? Me. Yeah. The synth, the synth humans, they need some love. Like, um... Helena and Galliard, yeah. Like, um, they did, they did the, the, what do they call them now? The ensembles, because, like, the Bar Baruoki one came out. The, the synth humans need one. They need a, uh, one. Now, of course, probably need more synth humans to even have an ensemble of them, but... Oh, no, we're back to being bad. I'm sorry. Judgment Ray. Freeze. But I like, I haven't, I haven't played the, um, I have not played, because I think we can start, we can start the Baruoki Ensemble, but I don't know how difficult it is, so I don't know if we'd be able to manage it, and it makes me sad that we don't have Mei. Azure, Azure Rebel is the story pretty much for synth, the synth humans. Okay. Yeah, that, is that, is that one required for, um, main story progress? Because I know two of the episodes are, and I know we already did one, which was, um, the two, the two knights and the holy sword. Bless your soul. But, uh, I was thinking that was the other one. Okay, it is. That's good to know. Come on, Nomar. We're counting on you. Because you have an actual weapon equipped. Bless your soul. And by an actual weapon, I mean it's, it's old, but, but it is a real weapon. Oh, pride died again. It makes sense that it's required. Yeah. And is... Because I know Ocean Palace 2 is going to come out soon, right? And are you going to need to have completed the, um, the Western Mythos to do that? Because I thought maybe you did. I get really confused about what's required to complete other things. Because uh, it can get a little messy. Okay, it is required. Okay, thank you. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay, because I, I was, I was, uh... I was looking forward to that because I, I really like Ocean Palace. I don't I don't really know why I like Ocean Palace so much, but I do. It, it was fun. It I'm was even working on collecting time. the 50 black pearls because I feel like it. Plus, I figure I need to collect all those a uh, ton of pearls anyway for the uh, chant script, so may as well collect black pearls while I'm at it. I think I've got like seven. 
because I haven't been terribly active. Wait a second, we have a follow? Vile the Sinful has followed. Thank you. Thank you for following. Oh, and Pikachu hats. Thank you for following as well. It's very kind of you. Ocean Palace uh, 1, of course, and Chapter 44 and Western Mythos. Okay, so we'll need to uh, complete a lot before we can do that one. You think the weapon from the Ocean Palace is going to be upgradable in later parts of Ocean Palace 2? Oh, that's good. That's good. A lot of, uh... There's a lot of things, I guess, where they're not... They, they fall off a lot, especially, like, all the equipment from the base game for, like, lower-level characters, but... It's worth collecting it. Has Terry reappeared? Terry has reappeared! That means the inn is built. Coffee is correct? Ah, okay, good to know. Nope. The inn! We can now sleep in Horai. Hello there, innkeeper lady. Give your muscles and your mind a rest and go at it again tomorrow. At last, we can rest within our own nice little city. There we go. Let's take a look at what we need for this next house. I'm going to imagine it involves a lot of clay. Bomb technician's house. Okay, we need three wall plates. Two, three. We got that. What else do we need? Five floor tiles. <gasps> we were able to build them. It's a miracle. Where, where are we gonna get stuck on the bomb technician's house? Oh wait, I only built one floor tile. Build one more floor tile, please. <laughs> Glass windows times two and bricks. You don't make bricks, so I'm going to assume either the, uh, the bard or the, um, smith lady do that. Quartz sand. Okay, we'll need quartz sand. And let's see if we can get some bricks. And I think I'll probably stop here because I, I think you've watched me collect enough clay for one day. Um, I, I will collect the rest of the clay. Okay, yeah, she makes bricks. Oh no, we need clay for bricks as well. Yeah, I'll be collecting clay. <laughs> I'll be collecting a lot of clay. Uh, and looking forward to the update, I guess. That, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be collecting clay and looking forward to the update that's uh, coming, what is it, tonight? Yes, yes, tonight. Because it's tomorrow, but because of time zones, at least where I live, I know updates happen at like 10 p.m. Melina isn't required for the time mine, but it's starting to show that she needs it. <laughs> Indeed. Well, you did it, so I, I, I will persevere. Um, thank you, thank you all for coming by. Thank you, Peach, Pikachu Hats, Coffee Drinker. Um, I know there was another person chatting here. Grimthorpe 101. Thank you all for coming. Uh, thank you, Pikachu Hats and Vil or Vile the Sinful. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Have a good day. Thank you, coffee drinker. I will. You have a good day, too. Uh, goodbye. How do I... I switched to using Streamlabs, and I'm not used to it. 